Hi, I'm Bill Shannon from Auburn University's Human Resources. This video is part of our Quick Dive Learning series. Our goal is to help you as a supervisor and as a leader. Today's Quick Dive is a short introduction to the performance management process. By the end of this short video, you should be able to explain the four phases of performance management. Performance management is about achieving expected outcomes and results in our jobs. Auburn University Human Resources has been steadily improving our performance management process for several years, and there is more to come. Successful use of our performance management process will help us to reach our organizational goals, increase employee engagement and productivity, and be better stewards of all the valuable resources we have at Auburn University. There are four phases that make up the Auburn performance management process. Planning, coaching and feedback, plan check-in, and year-end review. We'll be discussing these in greater detail and how they work with performance management review form in the next training. But here we have a quick overview. Planning. In a performance-oriented culture, work is planned out in advance using the employee's position description, previously identified areas in need of development, as well as measurable goals the supervisor and employee would like to see accomplished. Planning means setting expectations for performance and goals for groups and individuals to get everyone on the same page and push their effort toward achieving the goals of the organization. Coaching and feedback. In a performance-oriented culture, job duties, responsibilities, goals, and developmental needs are constantly monitored. Coaching and ongoing feedback throughout the year means that employees and teams are routinely making progress toward reaching their goals. Continuous informal conversations create opportunities to adjust how the work is getting done. It's important that employees are reaching successful outcomes. Assistance and correction can be made immediately rather than waiting until the end of the year when ratings are assigned. Continuous conversation and monitoring allows supervisors to identify employees who are excelling in certain areas. This creates an opportunity to grow the employee in a particular area as a behavior is being displayed. The plan check-in or mid-year review is a more formal approach, but includes coaching and feedback. The purpose of the mid-year check-in is to commend performance efforts for making progress toward plans, goals, and projects, redirect performance efforts, and discuss reasons why progress is not being made, and adjust duties, responsibilities, goals, or developmental opportunities based on changing priorities. Some new objectives may be added to the original goals or they may need to be altered. The year-end review. In a performance-oriented culture, employees and supervisors are held accountable for whether or not goals and duties are accomplished throughout the year. Once a year, it is useful and valuable to summarize employee performance. Organizations need to know who their best performers are as well as who might be falling behind. If a supervisor has followed the steps of performance management process, planning, coaching, check-ins, the year-end review will have no surprises and be a productive discussion. For more information on performance management at Auburn or any of our HRD courses, contact us at autrain at auburn.edu or aub.ie slash human resources.